All praises to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rakach Wadash, the Ba'anars, to the Apostles, Elders of Ray Millstone, Shalom, Salutations, to the hopeful elect that's fighting a good fight of faith and truth and sincerity and wholeheartedly, Shalom to the Akwath, which is the women believers, Shalom unto you. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. This is a scripture, very, very popular scripture. And you really can use this scripture for every video. Every time you go outside to prophesy, you can really use this scripture right here. This is very, very important. You know, you got a lot of people who get tired of hearing the same message. But tell me or show me anywhere in the scriptures where the words change, the message change. So you have a lot of lost people out here and they love it, you know. And as the world says, ignorance is bliss. Well, they love to be ignorant. A lot of people are lost. Even when they hear the truth, it goes out one ear and out the other. Matter of fact, make me think of this scripture. I used to bring this out all the time. It said where there is no vision, the people perish. So, you know, that's why you have scriptures like, you know, the prudent man foreseeth the evil. All right. So the Lord have blessed men with eyes to see, ears to hear. You know, the scriptures also says we're not sleep like other men. We're wide awake. We see things. We understand the prophecies. The Lord sup with us. We understand his secrets. You know, we understand that his way is the only way and look at us as a nation when we went out of his way. Like people acting like we sovereign. We ain't sovereign. Even if you got some money, you ain't sovereign. You, you every, matter of fact, take a $10 bill, dollar bill, whatever you got. Look at it. That's who run the world. You don't see nobody look like you on a dollar. But it says, but he that keep up the law, happy is he. And that, and that is very, very important. The Lord's way is prosperous. You can't say that it's not because you never did it. The elect right now, they're doing it to the best of their ability. So whoever the elect is, is going to be blessed. But let's get back to this. So it says, in whom the God of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe not, because you don't have no vision. The God of this world talk about his future. You know, he's boasting of his heart desire right now. He's talking about a new world order. And most of our people are so lost in the sauce, they don't even know what that is. But yeah, Esau Enum is talking about his new world order. He don't give you no hope. The hope that he gives you is getting a hold of his money. So he teach materialism. He teach, listen to your heart, go after your heart. So the God of this world is Satan, but he have a physical counterpart, which is the wicked that run this world. We are the physical counterpart of Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, and Esau, Edom is the physical counterpart of Satan. Guess what? Two thirds are the physical counterpart of Satan. What did Yahweh Shai say? You are of your father, the devil. So, you know, the reason that you can't believe, as the scripture says, your deeds are dark and you hate the light. And it says, let's the light. Did I, did I read this part? Who have blinded the minds of them which believe not. Let's the light of the glorious gospel of Hamashiach, who is the image of the Most High, should shine unto them. So the only ones who are able to receive this are those who are not lost. So that's why when Yahweh Shai came on the scene, Matthews 15 and 24, I am not sent but to the house of but to the um, lost sheep of the house of Israel. I am not sent, but to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So that's a whole nother topic, but 
I love that scripture, even though, you know, Christians try to say that's not what it means, even though it says what it says. Yahweh Shai to his own mouth said, I am not sent but to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But anyways, but back to this point, um, you know, our people, they go any way but the right way. The right way is like having a stray jacket on them. They don't like discipline. Matter of fact, what is that? Um, I want to say it's 12 and 26. Yep. The righteous is more excellent than his neighbor. What makes us righteous? We are the only nation that received the law, statutes, and commandments. When Moses came down from Mount Sinai, he only gave it to the children of Israel. So that's what makes us righteous. And when you go into that word excellent, it goes into being superior. As it say in Deuteronomy 7 and 6, we are a nation above all nations. We are special. The Lord didn't make us like anybody else. That's why we are called Yah Sher Allah. He is the prince of the power. And it said, but the, way, but the way of the wicked have seduced him. So that's why you are blind. See, you envy the oppressor. The scripture said, envy not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. But you envy the oppressor and you choose his ways because you want to be like him. You want what he have. But the script, if you understood the scriptures, the scripture said, we got a blessing. He got a blessing. You need to discern what time frame we are in. You can't have his blessing because you ain't them. But you want to be, you want to have what they have. I put it that way. And it don't work that way. So here is the point, man. If you do not separate yourself from this world, yo, you're going to be caught up in the destruction that's about to come. So I always say this, and I'm going to keep saying it, Lord willing. You indirectly or by default, you trust in Esau, Edom, because like I always say, you can call the white man the devil. You could say, um, you know, you got a lot of our people who complain about Esau, Edom, but they still do his ways. They still choose America. They still choose Jesus. You know what I'm saying? This is all. Edomite philosophies, Edomite ideologies. So, matter of fact, let me get this. This, this is what I'm trying to say. <clears throat> as for us, our eyes as yet fail for our vain help. In our watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. So, instead of coming to the real power source, you want to go vote. And just say if you don't vote, you're not changing your ways. If you don't go vote, which I hope it ain't no um, presidency election, you know, I hope some chaos happen, you know. But if you don't go vote, that don't mean that you don't trust in this system, because here's the point. You cannot vote all you want to. But you're still participating in the system as in trusting in it. Now, we all got it. We all are part of the system. You got to do what you got to do within the system. But when I mean you trust in it, when you can talk about the future, I'm talking about I can't wait to see my child walk across the stage with his cap and gown. I can't wait till my child go to college. I can't wait. Matter of fact, you still got people proposing. You still got people talking about getting married 2025. You know what I'm saying? Everything that the scripture said that people was going to do, people are doing. So, whether you know this or not, you are in captivity. And your number one enemy rule over you. So, like I said, you, you think by if you don't vote that you ain't trusting in him or you don't depend on him. Yes, you do. Because you're not changing. You're not separating yourself. The Lord said, rise you up and depart, for this is not your rest. But you love this place, man. Like, you cannot say that I don't F with these people. I don't deal with these people. I don't look to these people for help. But you all up in a system trying to prosper to the point of 
the Lord becomes second fiddle in your life. That's what you do. For you to be talking about the future and not talking about the kingdom of heaven, that's a problem. So you indirectly, by default, trust in a nation that cannot save you. You still trying to hit the lotto. You still trying to get that mansion. You still trying to chase the American dream and, and not separate yourself. So this is why the Lord said this. And this is why you see this. And it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel and such as are escaped of the house of Jacob shall no more again stay upon him that smote them, but shall stay upon Yahweh Bashem Yahweh the Holy One of Israel in truth. So this is what you see. When you see men out here making a body a living sacrifice, saying, fuck this world. I don't care about my job seeing me. I don't care about family knowing what I do. You are staying upon the Lord because the Lord is the one control life and death rich and poor prosperity and adversity the lord is in control of all of that so if he's in control of all of that that's a person that you would want to serve the same man that you trust in the same man you know because the scripture said esau is edom genesis 36 and 8 and also genesis 36 and 1 esau is edom so he given the earth into the hands of the wicked he given that mean he gave he could take it away and that's what he's going to do so the remnant shall return the remnant is the elect even the remnant of jacob unto the mighty power for your people israel be as the sand of the sea yet as a remnant of them shall return the a consumption decree shall overflow with righteousness so as you continue to keep trusting in your heart trusting in the system the Lord gave a great example of this is what's about to come to pass. It says, as it was in the days of Noah, so it shall be also in the days of the Son of Man, which shows you that it's still going to be some type of society going on when the Lord come back. So you might have devastation you know, in certain places, but it might not happen in other places. You know, I mean, all hell is going to break loose all over the world. But look what the scripture says. It's still going to be to the point that because remember, some of us ain't going to taste death. That's all in the scriptures. Luke 9 and 27, Matthew 16, 28. Some of us ain't going to taste death. How can that happen? You know, number one, the Lord going to set a standard. But yeah. How can people be chipped if everybody is going to be dead? See, so it's going to be society running. How can people get chipped if everybody going to be dead and just going to be chaos everywhere? You know, so, yeah, chaos is going to happen. But in the days of Noah, when that first raindrop came, people was eating, drinking, being merry, being wicked, doing all kind of abominations. The same thing that's going on right now. So. When you have a shy, crack those clouds, that's what's going to be happening. But they did eat, they did drink, they did marry wives. They were given in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark and the flood came and destroyed them all. So that's you not understanding, not having the eyes to see, the ears to hear, not foreseeing the evil, not hiding yourself in the Lord, but trusting in this system. The system is Esau Edom's. So like I said, you can't say that you don't trust in him. You can call him the devil all you want to, but you still out here participating, being a demon in his world and you love it. So you trust in him. You trust in his way. You trust in his system. You trust in his money. You trust in his education. You trust in his even doctor expertise because you went to go get the hokey pokies, the serpent juices all through your body. It's supposed to be a, um, a frequency, a little, um, 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 what you call it? emergency broadcast little thing tomorrow you know at one or two o'clock or something like that let's see what happens but yeah man why you want to live in a world like this but anyway let me let me just finish this because it's late it's 1 36 a.m it said likewise also it was in the days of lot they did eat they drank they they bought they they sold they planted they built it 
But the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. So that's what's about to come to the earth. If you don't repent, you're going to be caught up in it. In the end, as the Lord says, he's going to come as a thief in the night. Now, if you was listening, it wouldn't be as a thief in the night. But you're not going to listen. But like I said, I, I just wanted to get that off my chest because, you know, these these warning got to go out. And that's why the Lord said this. I always quote it, so I'm going to end it on this. Seek you the Lord while he may be found. Call you upon him while he is near. As the prophets are still out there prophesying, the video is still going out. That means repentance is still here. Because remember, a famine of the word is coming. And that's when it's too late. All praises to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai. Hopefully this video is edifying and shalom.